Good afternoon, and welcome to Ascension Chinese Mission. Please silence all cellular devices at this time. Today is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please rise and join us in singing our entrance hymn, hymn number 449, For You Are My God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today the Lunar New Year, and the Archbishop uh, be with us, celebrate the Lunar New Year. We are happy and we are lucky. And also the, today we pray, Mass intention, the Father Rodrigo pray for God blessing of uh, Stephanie, Chen's family for birthday members and Thanksgiving. And I have a mass intention for God blessing the holy marriage of Matthew and Tammy uh, Sick Nigel and Archbishop. Mass intention pray for all of you, for, for all of us. So the Lunar New Year, the blessing. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, Lunar New Year designates also the renewal of life of the year and perhaps of also our family. And we are here, we do remember our dear ones, perhaps far away, in this Holy Eucharist. May God really abundantly accompany us with his immense grace and love. Before celebrating this Holy Eucharist, let us ask for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and you have done, you have failed to do, through my thought, through my thought, through my most grievous thoughts, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Kyrie Oh 
is free. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, If someone has on his skin a scab or pustule or blotch, which appears to be the sore of leprosy, he shall be brought to Aaron the priest, or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean, since he is, in fact, unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside the camp. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to our song can be found on page 67 of Breaking Bread. is taken away whose sin is covered blessed the man to whom the Lord imputes not guilt in whose spirit there is no guile I turn to acknowledge my sin to you. My guilt I covered not. I said, I confess my faults to the Lord, and you took away the guilt of my sin. I turn to you. salvation. Be 
glad in the Lord and rejoice, you just. Exalt all you upright of heart. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved be imitators of me as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. prophet has arisen in our midst. God has visited his people. Alleluia. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do well it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began publicizing the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we heard three readings, and these readings can be read in the perspective of love. But love 
is something also concrete, not only for the individual couples, but also for the people. And when it is concrete sign of the people, then there involves three elements, which we call law, L-A-W, law. Law is always accompanied by love, then soon we will see that. And today there's a particular case about leprosy. Law, love, and leprosy. Let me start with leprosy. So this is a kind of strange disease. And in the ancient time, people did not have any special therapy. Mm, but this disease is extremely contagious. So if you go to the Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy, then we find the words unclean, uncleanliness. And leprosy is such a contagious disease that people had to stay away from the sick, from the lepers. So Moses established as law for those, unfortunately, who got the disease of leprosy has to go to the church to get the examination. And if it is the case of leprosy, uh, then the life of that leper is really very miserable because one way or another, he himself to declare to others, even by his outcry here, I'm leper. In some way, people will avoid him. This is law. Well, law has two dimensions. One is to purify, yes. Another dimension is to protect, purify and to protect. So protect the people's right, the people's safety, protect people's life. Uh, so since the lepers are being contagious, so the law asked them to declare and asked them to stay away uh, in order to protect other people. But in the meantime, the law also purify him because lepro leprosy is considered the consequence of sin. Either the family, the parents, or the individual himself is a sinner, so stay awake. Uh, <clears throat> of course, then we can imagine how lonely, how isolated, and how, um, and how how sad is the situation. But then today the gospel gives us another dimension about love and pity. So Jesus met a leper, and the leper humbly asked, while staying a little bit distant, to ask for a miracle. But Jesus, in this case, took courage and touched him. Yeah. Of course, Jesus could even heal anyone without staying close to them. Uh, but this moved by pity give us the sense the divine love is here, even to this miserable, to this individual. <clears throat> and then we come to the law itself. Uh, Jesus also respected the law. After the healing, would ask him to go to the priest for re-examination and to declare his cleanliness so that he be admitted again to the community life to stay together with others. And uh, very often, leprosy uh, used by the church father as a sign, as a prefiguration uh, about sins, how how bad, how terrible are sins. Uh, and we need 
purification and renewal. Today happened to be the first day of the Lunar New Year. Uh, for those who are not familiar with the Chinese myths, allow me to uh, account, re -account, recount again. So in the ancient time, there's a monster, look like an ox. It's called Nian. Uh, practically, the Chinese character Nian is somewhat uh, close to Niu, the ox. So every early spring, the monster will come to disturb, to vandalize the village. And the villagers went to the elders for a solution. And the elders studied the case. And they gave advice to the villagers, saying that the monster um, is afraid of noises. So if the monster comes, then you can have the firework produce big noises to chase the evil away. The second thing is about to put a lot of red things in the family or in the environment because redness symbolizes goodness, not only goodness, but brilliant goodness, uh, something visible. Uh, and then the goodness also will frighten away the monster. The third thing would is the last but not the least, when the individual stay alone, it will be dangerous because the monster will attack the individual. But if people stayed in a family, gathered in union, then the monster will not come to attack the group, the family. So stay with the family. And uh, of course, it works. So that's why when the Nian in the early spring coming to the village, uh, the villagers managed to get rid of or chase away the, um, uh, the monster. But the story is interesting because somewhat reflect um, our life. You know? And there are ups and downs in our life, sometimes disasters, sometimes you know, out of bad will, sometimes because of war, because of uh, jealousy, some bad thing happened. And uh, we need to defend ourselves. So the firecracker, of course, produce noises and also uh, the sparkling light uh, chase the evil uh, away. And uh, <clears throat> then we need to, I mean, fire, fire uh, crackers, uh, meaning a kind of, uh, you know, people stay together uh, with strength and to, to chase uh, the nian, the monster. But I think the other two elements are important. Redness, redness means goodness, that brilliant goodness tangible, visible. And the third thing, but not the least, is the family stay together, united. And usually what makes the family together is very simple, sharing of food, also of good food. Huh? And then in those days, the villagers will fear that in case the monster uh, will really uh, harm them, so they would have a nice uh, dinner, uh, that could be the last dinner, and uh, uh, just in case, you know, so they, 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 they eat well. But anyway, um, for the Chinese New Year, that New Year, Nian, uh, meaning this monster, in the Roman time, they used the term Annum, A-N-N-U-M, uh, Annum is a yearly due, a kind of taxes that you have to pay. And of course, nobody would like to pay taxes because uh, it costs you. So uh, they try to you know, uh, put it uh, somewhere where 
in the time when the Apollo, the sun, uh, was uh, was was about to um, to be born. So it is close to the end of December. Uh, when during the light, uh, during the day, the light is getting longer and longer. That means Apollo is coming out now. That bright light shines forth and chases away that kind of ill feeling. Uh, so we have something in common. And actually, Annum, uh, <coughs> in the Christian sense, uh, is referred to the birth of Jesus, no longer the birth of Apollo. So this year, we say 2024, Annum Domini, it is the year of the Lord. Uh, so the Christian gave the sense of the time for the end or the beginning of the year. Now let me come to uh, some concrete things. Um, first, during the Lunar New Year, at least for the three first three days, we usually celebrate 15 days, no bad words, always courtesy, and good, um, you know, um, uh, good words to encourage uh, and bring the best wishes. Uh, and, uh, you know, the parents would usually give the red envelope to the children. Uh, inside there must be some money so that they will be happy, you know, for an extra treat. Uh, but the red meaning also bringing the goodness to the people. And then in the last day of the year, Nian Shan Shi Wan, and the family gathered together and they had good food. And usually they would cook even more. Uh, in the southern part of China, they even cook fish, and not only one, but more fish, so that you know, they have abundance of fish for the last day of the year, and then on purpose, the fish will be left over for the next day. The next day usually is a, a big day for holiday, to stay well, and not to cook anymore. But the fish uh, has the homophony, meaning um, something uh, abundant, super abundant. So when you have a good year, the last day of the year to the first day of the, uh, another new year, you have abundance when you have fish. Uh, and that is the, the more or less the taking the sound. Uh. And I think for us Christians, a new year is always a time to identify where is something wrong in our life. Leprosy is a sign, uh, something wrong, not only for the individual, but for the entire community, because someone which was belonging to a community got the disease, and we have to isolate that poor leper. And so when we examined and we try to solve the problem, we try to purify. And we thought with goodness. So for three days, we don't quarrel. Please don't quarrel. <laughs> At least for the first three days. And then the other things um, come later. In fact, uh, St. Paul, in the second reading, he, um, he was writing... Uh, in terms of the Holy Eucharist. And then his encouragement uh, uh, is simple. He said, uh, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense. Huh? Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or to the Greeks huh? or to the church of God. No? Whether you have complained, no, stop doing that. Just as I try to please everyone in every way. So, Paul is giving a, an example. And to the extent that he even asked the people, be imitators of me. Uh, we find it, well, it's important. Are you a little bit uh, not too humble to ask people to imitate you? You become an example. But there's a reason. He said, be imitators of me as I am of Christ. 
because I imitate Christ, right? leaving you an example. So, dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration, let us remember the law. We respect the law, we observe the law, because the law purifies, the law protects. And behind the law, we don't use the law to control, to manipulate. We use the law for love, to convey specially the divine love, the, the, the mercy of God. Uh, to whom? To those who are most in need, those who are oppressed, those who are poor, those who are isolated, who are marginalized imagin of the society, like the lepers. And the community try to heal also, try to heal. Uh, because unfortunately, if you look around, the, um, the evil or the, um, the evil spirit uh, is, is around us. When we see the conflict, the terrible wars, the killing of the innocents, and uh, all sorts of disasters and human tragedies, and it is very active, meaning the evil. And we need to counteract. How? And St. Paul gave us a good example to be imitator of Christ. And how Christ act, and today the example is that he, he saw this leper, he could have healed him without touching, but he did because he wanted to make his love tangible, visible. And so our Christian life must be something uh, tangible to others in bringing forth, in conveying the love to others. My dear brothers and sisters, allow me to really um, to greet you and also to convey the blessings of His Holiness Pope Francis. Uh, he is very much aware these few days is the, 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 <coughs> the so-called the Chinese New Year or the Lunar New Year. And then uh, <coughs> he, is he is spiritually close to us. And I'm his representative, that's why I'm here. And uh, I have some, a few signs that also represent the, the presence of the Universal Church. And in particular, my cross here, which I, I, I have, at the back of it, there's a small uh, box. You can uh, open it, but I never opened because it's difficult to do it. Inside, there are relics of the Chinese martyrs. And I received this cross not in China, but from, uh, from a friend uh, who's uh, in, the, in the Cistercian Monastery of France. And they sent their monks and missionaries and created a community there. And many of them got martyrized. <coughs> So I receive this cross. In a sense that we, through the cross, we receive the strength, the glory, the power of the risen Christ. Because the risen Christ is the tangible love of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, it was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, yes. into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I took forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, on this world day of the sick, let us be close to the sick, aged and lonely, and let us bring their need and ours to God, who said it is not good for men to be alone. For the church, may her work of evangelization always be accompanied by a true concern for the well-being of the people, so that the good news of the, of the gospel begins from tangible things and reaches to things of eternal value. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil leaders, may they find way to provide more affordable medical cares for all, especially for the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are isolated from the community because of illnesses, aging, may, they, may their faith remain strong as they walk with God in adversity, and may we be near to them to give them our loving care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our effort of becoming a parish of missionary disciples, may we be imitators of St. Paul and seek the spiritual well-being of our friends and families in order for them to be saved. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are seeking faith in our community, that they experience a friendship coming from our community of faith and be drawn into a deeper relationship with Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased brothers and sisters, may they, through the mercy of God, receive eternal peace and enjoy the beatific vision of God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment and add our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Accept our prayers of humble petition as we place our trust in you and grant that what we ask in faith we may surely obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. And I invite Tammy and uh, Matthew uh, Schneider to come forward. They are newlywed, married on January 6th, so they ask for a special blessing. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. Your name is? Tammy. Matthew. May your matrimony be always a sign a sign of God's love for humankind. Your fidelity, mutual fidelity, be also a sign of God's faithfulness and also our fidelity towards God. May your maturity life be filled with the divine love, strength against every possible other temptations, other seductions of the world, and be always in front of the church, in front of others, leading a good example, being a loved couple. And for this, I implore God for his blessing to <coughs> each one of you. May your mighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations.
congratulations. your peace, bring us your healing. For those who tend the sick with love that knows no fear, be ever at their side. And for the sufferings who lean into your care, with thee we now abide. Grant us your peace, bring us your healing. For those who teach the child with patience keeping watch, refresh their weary minds. And for the hungry ones who lean on them to learn, prepare them in your time. Grant us your peace, bring us your healing. For those who serve the weak with kindness reaching out, oh, be their source and help. And for the lonely ones, may every heart be found. And in your mercy, God bless now. you. God bless you. Thank you. O oh Lord, have mercy on us all. Grant us your peace. Bring us your healing. For those who freely give, who toil without praise, leave them rest in you. us understand our debt of gratitude. O oh Lord, have mercy on us all. Grant us your peace. Bring us your healing. For those who point us to what's beautiful and true, Hope into their songs for all who cannot see the evidence of you, Lord, whisper to their hearts. O oh Lord, have mercy on us all, grant us your peace, bring us your healing. Pray, brothers and sisters, to my sacrifice, and yours may be acceptable to God, to mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your, your hands for the praise and glory of his, his name, name for all good and good of all this holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give love to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned through us remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall may become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them that the Jew fall, so that they may become through us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have how this worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, Daniel Italo, and our Archbishop Han, and all the clergy. Remember your servant whom you have called from this world, from this world to yourself. Grant that name who was united with your son in the death of like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Believe us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, Lord, on our sins, on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and never. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of... of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. no beast. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere re no Say Ray Ray no bees. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Don't I know these pachem? Don't I know these pachem? Behold, the Lamb of God, behold, who t- he who takes away the sins from the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only Lord, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. I receive the body of Christ, the living God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the bread needed from to give you the body of Christ. I receive the living the God, and my heart is full of joy. I receive the living God, and my heart is full of joy. Jesus said, I am the way, and my Father longs for you. reflection song for the month of February is, is for the feast of the month of the Holy Family and for the sacrament of marriage. And the hymn number is 106, Once in Royal David's City. Hymn 106. Shelter was 
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for this week's announcements. This Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, February 14th, and the Mass schedule is as follows. The 8.30 a.m. Mass will be in English, the 12.15 Mass will be in Chinese, and the 7.30 p.m. Mass will be in Chinese and English. For every Catholic ages 18 to 59, this is a day of fasting and abstinence. There will be Stations of the Cross every Friday during Lent at 7 p.m. in the church. It will be conducted in Chinese this coming Friday. Eucharistic adoration will follow Stations of the Cross from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Fridays during Lent are days to observe abstinence, meaning no meat consumption. The 2023 donation statements for tax purposes have been sent. Contact Jennifer Oli if you have not received the statement. And please sign up to the Flock Note service for parish-wide announcements. Information can be found on the parish website. Thank you. Uh, dear brothers and sisters, the Archbishop will give us the very good, wonderful celebration. It's very unique. This year, the Archbishop will be with us and celebrate the Lunar New Year. Is this like it makes sense? This is really the connection. But the Archbishop is from Martha, but the original, he's from Hong Kong. So it's a Chinese bishop. We are very lucky and very happy. And also the bless the, the couples, give them the courage and the blessing. That's the new year is very important. We bring the God blessing through the whole year. And remember the harmony is very important. From today until Monday, don't say bad words. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we give really the thanks to the, the Archbishop. And the, tomorrow we have a big celebration. So you come back because the, the tomorrow the Archbishop will continue to celebrate the Mass and the harmony. And the, after the, the Mass, we have a, the potluck uh, lunch and the lion dance and performance and the, Lucky Monday, right back. So we should give that. That's the we will do all of this. So you come back tomorrow. Yeah. The Lord be with you and with and your spirit. spirit. Bow your head for the God's blessing. Blessed be the name. May God, the source of origin of all blessing, grant you grace. Pour out. His blessing in abundance and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. Amen. May he order your day, may he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks be to God. 
we go forth singing hymn number 392, Lord, you give the great commission. Thank you. God bless you all.